<clears throat> oh yeah, Amiga's been done for a couple days now. <clears throat> In the classic game of military strategy, you battle to conquer the world. When you must launch daring attacks, defend yourself on all fronts, and sweep across vast continents with boldness and cunning. However, you must remember that the dangers as well as the rewards are high. Just when the world is within your grasp, your opponent might strike and take it all away. Uh, eliminate your opponents by occupying every territory. The first player to do so wins the game and conquers the world. Two to six players, human or computer, may play. <coughs> On the screen is a map of six continents divided into 42 territories. Territories within each continent have similar colors. The symbol of the player who occupies a territory will be displayed within that territory. Maps designed to facilitate play rather than be geographically accurate. The following page describes continents and their territories. Yeah, I think I think I know what planet Earth is. Apparently Indonesia and New Guinea are part of Australia, though. News to me. <clears throat> Risk cards. There are 44 risk cards, one representing each of the 42 territories and two wild cards. Each card is a picture of the territory it represents and a military symbol representing either an infantry soldier, a cavalry horse, or an artillery cannon. Each wild card has three military symbols on it. Each player will have at least one army for every territory that the player controls. These are used to defend territories from attacks. To attack neighboring territories, there are armies available for battle will be shown by number displayed in each territory. Dice used to represent the outcome of all battles. The red dice represent the attacker, white dice the defender. Dice display in the upper right corner. <laughs> player status shows the current player's name, number of territories, number of reserve armies, and the names of territories selected for battle. Okay. Get reserves, turn in cards, repeat attack, view personal cards, card set value. Opponents cards. <clears throat> the following is an example of the steps that might occur during a typical player's turn. Begin turn, receive reserve armies, turn in risk cards, receive risk card armies. Place armies on territories, attack opponents, receive risk card, move armies, and turn. Sure. <clears throat> now that you have a general understanding of the basics of risk, I do. You can begin to set up a world you wish to conquer. Unlike most games, Risk demands careful planning before you actually start to play. It's part of the game sets the stage. Uh, start new game. Choose computer, set the skill level. Oh good, I can set the computer to be dumb, hopefully. Choose the speed of the computer. Rapidly. Move rapidly to a short game. Sounds good to me. Select the method of choosing territories. Select the method for the computer to choose. Choosing territories. First player to choose a territory is randomly decided. Allow the computer to automatically place armies for each player until every territory is occupied. Selectable allows each player in turn to place one army at a time on an unoccupied territory until all territories are claimed. Okay, amount of armies you start with depends on the number of people playing. Possible try to occupy an entire continent at the beginning of the game. <clears throat> Controlling a continent will give you additional armies right from the start. If this is not possible. Try to occupy as many adjacent territories as you can after all territories have been claimed. Place your remaining armies on your border territories as a line of defense against possible attack. Try not to scatter your territories around the board. Your territories will be isolated from one another and subject to capture. The world has been divided into various warring factions. Time to begin your conquest. Okay. <clears throat> on your turn, try to capture territories by defeating your opponent's armies. Winning your battles will depend on careful planning. Blah, blah, blah. Each turn consists of three steps. One, getting and placing armies. Two, attacking. Three, fortifying. Game of each turn, including your first one, you can receive additional reserve armies. You receive armies according to the number of territories you occupy and the number of continents you control. Place these reserve armies onto your territories immediately. Remember to request these reserves before beginning any battles, or you will forfeit them. You can also obtain more armies by turning in matched sets of risk cards. 
Okay. Just get reserves for the plate menu right after things. Okay. Uh, the computer will count the number of territories you currently occupy. Divide the total by three, discarding any fraction. This is the armies you automatically receive. You always receive three armies on a turn, even if you occupy less than nine territories. Okay. Oh! Thank you for the follow. Control continent, you must occupy all of its territories. Start of your turn, you automatically receive the number of armies associated with that continent. Seven for Asia, five for Europe, five for North America, three for Africa, two for Australia, two for South America. Okay. Earning risk cards helps you obtain more armies. You earn one risk card at the end of each turn in which you capture at least one territory. At the beginning of any turn, you may trade in a matched set of risk cards for additional armies. The number of armies you receive depends on the total number of sets turned in previously by all players. Hmm. A valid match is three cards of the same type. Infantry, cavalry, art, artillery. Three cards. Each of a different type, or any two cards plus a wild card. Following an example of match sets. Okay, so you can do one of each, three of a kind, or use a wild card for whatever you want. When you have five cards, you must turn in the resulting match set at the beginning of your next turn. It's not possible to have five cards without a match set. Card set value. To find out the value of the current card set, choose card set value. First set gets four, second, six, third, eight, fourth, ten, fifth, twelve, sixth, fifteen. After the six has been traded in, each additional set is worth five more armies. For example, if you trade in seven set, you get twenty. If you trade in eight, you get twenty-five. Okay. <clears throat> Placing armies with the ship cursor to a territory you wish to place the army. Click the left mouse button or spacebar to place an army. Repeatedly click the mouse button or hold down the spacebar just to be many. <clears throat> when you have a matched set of risk cards, you may wish to wait before trading it in for additional armies. By waiting until your opponent turns in sets, you may increase the value of the set you currently hold. Or on the defensive, you might want to save these additional armies until you're ready to attack. Only you might want to wait to turn in any cards which represent a territory you want. You might conquer soon. You receive an extra two armies for that territory if you occupy it at the time you trade in the card. <laughs> Place additional armies to play them carefully. If you're prepared to attack, place some armies onto territories you plan to attack. Place in your remaining armies. The territories. I am playing some Moonlighter while you guys keep me company. Any y'all familiar with Moonlighter? Thank you for the bits. Uh, no. Can't say I have heard of Moonlighter. To place in all of your reserve armies, you may attack if you wish. Attack is usually one or more battles. Roll dice. The object of an attack is to capture territory by defeating all the opposing armies on it. You do not have to attack in return. If you do not wish to attack, you can end your turn as soon as you place your reserves. You may only attack a territory that's adjacent to one of your own. Okay. You must always have at least two armies in the territory from which you are attacking. Any single turn you may attack. One or more territories from one or more of your own territories. You may also shift your attack from one territory to another. You may initiate as many attacks as you are able to in a single turn. Okay. Once an attack is launched, dice will be rolled to determine the outcome of the battle. After selecting the war in territories, you will be prompted to choose the number of dice you wish to roll. You, the attacker, are allowed to roll one, two, or three dice, but you must have at least one more army in your territory than the number of dice you roll. Okay. The defender may roll either one or two dice. Defenders may only use two dice when there are two more armies in their territory. When you're the defender in a battle, you'll be prompted to choose the number of dice you wish to roll if there's no choice in the number of dice to roll. The computer will automatically choose for you. Why would you ever want to choose less dice? <laughs> <clears throat> The outcome of a battle is decided by comparing the highest die that each of you has rolled. If your die is higher, the defender loses one army from the territory under attack. If the defender's die is higher, you lose one army from your attack. Each of you has rolled more than one die. They compare the next highest die to determine who loses an army. In the case of a tie, the defender always wins. Okay.
Defender loses one army. Defender and attacker loses one army because of the tie. Okay. Oh, okay, so if you roll less dice than the opposition, they automatically kill you. Interesting. Even if you outroll them, you don't even get to kill one of them. Oh no, I'm reading this wrong. You kill theirs, this doesn't even engage. Yeah. I got you. <clears throat> so as you defeat the last opposing army on a territory, you capture the territory must occupy it immediately. <clears throat> you must move in at least as many armies as the number of dice you rolled in the last battle. The maximum number of armies you can move to capture territory must be one less than the number you have on the attacking territory. <clears throat> Every territory must always be occupied by at least one army during the game. Okay. If you eliminate an opponent during your turn, you win any risk cards that player is holding. An opponent is eliminated if you capture his last remaining territory. You may immediately trade in any cards which make a match set. This way you can get additional armies which you can immediately place onto any territories you occupy. Okay. If in the game you must attack a conquer territory. This does not mean you should attack every adjacent territory in every turn. The longer you attack, the more armies you may lose, the more spread out you may be, the more territories you occupy, the fewer armies you will likely have on each one. You should try to capture at least one territory on every turn in order to receive a risk card. You don't want the additional armies the card sets provide. <clears throat> when you capture a territory and are passing armies, remember to fortify your new border. Keep from losing any ground. May not wish to attack at all if you need to avoid losing armies or if moving armies to a capture story to relieve you from attack. Okay. <clears throat> your turn. Pass armies from one country to another. It's called a free move. The free move allows you to move as many armies as you like from one and only one of your territories to one and only one of your adjacent territories. You must leave at least one army behind of the territory you're moving. Okay. <clears throat> The winner is the player to eliminate every opponent by capturing all 42 territories on the board. All hail the conquering hero. We need to save and load. That's good. Set sound. Some players change the speed. And technical stuff. Okay. <clears throat> it sounds relatively straightforward. MT32, even though I highly doubt this game is MT32 sound. <laughs> 1989 be pretty early. <clears throat> oh, I don't have a DOS. Oh, I should have a DOS game. Should we play the DOS game? Yeah, there we go. CJ risk, EJ risk, or risk. Risk. EJ. Mouse. Risk. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> New game. Uh, do I want to play against six computers or one computer? I don't know what's going to be easier. Let's do six. Fuck it. I am human. Player two can be player two. Easy. I've never played Risk before, so let's just make this easy. Select the type of game you wish to play. UK full game, US full game. UK short game, US short game. Manual didn't cover that, did it? <clears throat> A 
Yeah, it does. <laughs> the manual doesn't mention this at all. I have no idea what this means. Uh, I don't know, UK full name. Sure. Center, you have 13 armies, select territory. Uh, I guess we can start by taking Australia. Okay, everybody's putting armies down now. <clears throat> I'll have to get some music going or something. It only let me put my first army down. Now it's putting them all down automatically. Huh. Oh, now it's letting me put another one down. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's turn on some music here. Player six is attacking somebody. Player six attacks me in somewhere. Hey, no, I just lost somewhere in the United States. Oh, well, it's the US. Who cares? No one wants to live there.
just attacked a territory that was like power f four or five with the power one territory and got smoked. Good job. I should see the song name up there. That's a weird mechanic how, uh, whoa, how if you attack with three dice and they only block with one, the other two dice do nothing, it's, it's odd. Repeat attack. Oh, I get fucked. Maybe Armadillo. I mean, you can save your game, so I guess you could redo your turn if you wanted to.
<clears throat> so right now it looks like purple and red are the scariest people in there. It's moving in on purple. Yellow? Not really. That guy with 14 in one territory is just like, you ain't fucking touching me. <laughs> Taking this territory, like, good luck. Gray's gonna take Africa, it looks like. There's a, a fast play option that I can't access while the computer's doing its thing. It looks like I could click through their turns too. of cards since I took over a bunch of territories. I thought you got a card every time you took over a, a thing. I guess not. Dude's rolling double sixes over and over and over. Come on. Fuck you. I'm getting smoked here. But this kind of fucking. <laughs> this kind of screwed me over, so I think we'll just sit tight here. Well, 
whoa. Okay. <laughs> if you go fast turn, it's like super fast. What the hell even happened there? Wait, I don't want to put armies in China. What? I guess I'm putting five. It's fine. Two cannons now. Big concentrations of troops, other than me, I guess. If by four, you know, what counts as big. Um, oh, wait, he can attack from there, can he? Enter. There was no clear winner, though player six was in the best position. It's over? Did I? Oh, I picked end game instead of end turn. <laughs> God damn it. It's a US game. Oh, okay. So, a US game. The difference between UK and US is. US, you get to pick your territories. UK, you don't. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Dice rolls. Are you fucking serious? Fuck.
in turn, not end game. Two only occupies one territory. That's red. Oh shit! If I could, if I could take this out, we could knock red out of the game immediately. That'd be sick. This guy Gray is also doing pretty shitty. It's only got three. I th I think I should get the Africa bonus now. I won't know until next turn, I guess. Oh, get fucked. Get fucked. Shit. Come on, dice. Come on. set of cards. Sure. are not my friend. Alright, in turn. 
Do I have any free moves I want to do? Uh, let's move this guy. Player 5 exchanges this set. Oh, I'm being attacked. Oh, green just fucking went in hard. I only have three armies? Oh man. That's no good. Motherfucker. Okay. This is not looking good for me. <laughs> Player six exchanges this set. Oh, Jesus Christ. Purple. Leave me alone. This is rough. Why do the dice hate me? What did I ever do to the dice? Yeah, I think this game is a uh, Dunsky. Dunsky. Sinatar only occupies one territory. Player 5 has wiped out Sinatar. Fuck! Just get to watch the computers play now. Is wiped out player four. Forty two, forty seven. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. South America and Asia. Oh. Weird. Okay. I don't like how I can't interact with the menu. 
Unless I'm doing nothing else. Let's restart this here. That end game option there is dangerous. Yeah, they get deducted.
<clears throat> this shit is so random. I held the line! I held the line! I get six armies because I have Africa. Alright. Alright. Must hold Africa. sound happening. Let's just shut that off. Three cards, we're done with set. <clears throat> Ye fucking fuckity fuck fuck. Exchanges this side. Everything exchanges this side. Player 4 occupies only one territory. Oh, there. Okay. Everybody's got sets but me. Player 5 has wiped out player 6. Gained 5 cards. Yes, please. Let's go, man.
way the dice go, Reg, there's no guarantees in this game. It's way too random to make any kind of declarative statements like that. You fuck. Set to exchange, goddammit. Fucking green is all over the place, but he doesn't have any like big, big territories. In fact, I have like the biggest army in the game right there. <clears throat> You. Fuck you. Yes, give me your cards. Sixteen armies. Oh, oh yeah. Dice are cursed. They're fucking cursed dice. This is this is insane. I'm this kind of light green. You can see the color code here, Rush. I'm player one. Spread my beauties! You gotta be kidding me. Thank you. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, remove. All right. <clears throat> so look at prophecy. Let's let's fucking save. I guess I gotta deploy my armies first. Okay. Rise of the Triad Reboot soundtrack is so good. Entry Hall Shoal. It's the fucking man. Kill him! Kill! Kill! Fuck! Kill him! Fuck's sakes! Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Kill him! Kill him! No! Damn it! Damn it! Five is wiped out. Player three. No, those were my cards. Fuck you. Those are my cards. You piece of shit. You son of a bitch. Yes. Give me. Give me more dudes. More. 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 If eighteen armies. Oh yes. Oh yes, baby. Here. <clears throat> I come from a land down under where the women roar and men chunder. Can you feel, can you feel the thunder? You better run, you better take cover. I'm getting a DMCA claim for, for just singing that little fucking ditty. <laughs> fucking YouTube is just gonna be like, yeah, that was a cover. Of the men down under. For once, just just do me a solid here. Oh, wild card. Be 
jaw. Oh, hey, I didn't realize they were like fucking me up here. Dude, come on. Come on. Thank you. My Scion Beauties, bread. Peace. 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 Yuck. Ah, oh, it didn't work out in the slightest. My first impressions of this game. It's it's interesting. I like the simplicity of it. It's like easy to pick up and, and figure out, but it's so RNG heavy. It's, it's like fuck. Fuck it. Let's start pushing this way. All in. Three ones, three ones, three ones. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. out of there. Yeah. Oh wait, is this not connected to this?
Yeah, fuck. I should have moved all my troops. That was a mistake. Hey, Doomsday. How you doing, man? Dude, holy shit. Push back hard. Twenty six armies, though. Okay. Doing good. Just conquering the world. Having fun. This is my first time ever playing Risk, so. It's been an interesting uh, learning process. And what I've learned is that the dice hate me. here. Start pushing from here. Hoppa! <laughs> the dice! Jesus! Thank you. God damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking going, going in hard now. Are you fucking serious? Thank you. Fuck yes, Alberta. <clears throat> My home. Mine. Get him out of there. Push, you fucking fox. Yes. <clears throat> the fact that defense wins on a tie is so that's savage. Defenders have like a huge advantage in them. Oh, two ones? Come on. We're so close. We're so close. Shit. Shit. Thirty one. Go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Just 
try and stop me, motherfucker. Just try. I'm gonna get fucked on the dice now that I said this. <laughs> oh, get fucking destroyed. Get destroyed, bitch. Uh, oh. Yeah, here we go. Here we go, motherfucker. Incoming! Rule the world. It has won the game by conquering the world. Yes. Bam. There we go. <laughs> I now understand how to play Risk. Interesting little board game. <clears throat> okay. Crushed. <clears throat> of course, now we have a fucking roguelike. Oh, God. <laughs> How are we ever going to finish finish a fucking roguelike? What's my plan in the new world? It's, Bethesda is now outlawed. All Bethesda games are illegal. Um, Todd Howard is to be publicly executed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, onions. Onions are outlawed. In, in, this, in this brave new Cinetar rule of the world, onions illegal. They're all, all onion crops will be burnt to the ground and destroyed. <clears throat> I'll think of some more stuff. Uh, that seems fun. Seems like a fine. It, my, the only real issue I have with that game, like technically is the, uh, the mouse clicking is like super finicky, <laughs> but, uh, it seems like a perfectly fine version of risk. Having never played risk. I don't know, but seems like a perfectly good version of the classic board game. Yeah.